Hello, Gemini. This is your mid-January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Gemini, so keep that in mind. I do shuffle these cards prior and meditate on your sign. If you want, you know, to be uh, notified for new readings or announcements, please hit the notification bell, bell, <laughs> bell, bell, and please hit uh, subscribe. But let's get going. Oops. Maybe dealing with some type of failure. Maybe thinking about a failure that you had. But this is for Gemini. Like I said, I'm going to start January, mid-January 2019. See what the beginning energy is. If that Seven of Pentacles come, come, is meant to be, it'll come out again. Let's see what the beginning energies are. You, Prince of Swords, take it on your energy. Very quick energy. A lot of, lot of uh, you know, things happening for them. And they, and they don't rest. They keep on going and going and going. This person has, like I said, a lot of energy. It's air energy. I'm believing it's you. Taking on your power. Gemini. It also could have to do with another Gemini. Aquarius or Libra. In the past... Couldn't make a final decision. I thought for sure before you were trying to make a final decision, but it looks like it hasn't happened yet. You're thinking on it, though. Obstacle. Dealing with the emperor. This could be a judge, court actions, people in authority. They're your obstacle. It also could be taking control. It could be your obstacle. Current environment or the subject at hand, you feel like you're taking on a burden, it's too heavy. Outside influences, you could be dealing with the Prince of Cups. That is a water type energy or someone acting like them. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Final outcome, ah, let's keep that down. So I want to clarify these first and I do not want that to influence me just yet. Now I do, like I said, pre-shuffle these. But I just keep on shuffling. I meditate on Gemini before I even start. But the Aeon, not making a final decision for some reason in the past. Why? Why is that card there, card there for Gemini? Ace of Cups. Possibly someone wants to make you a new offer or you want to make someone else a new offer, an emotional offer of friendship, love, or kindness. Can I get another card? The Aeon, the Final Judgment card, and the Ace of Cups in the Upright. Page of Cups, messages of love and kindness. Again, page uh, can be messenger, like I said, emotional message, or it can actually be a water sign also, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Now the obstacle, got the emperor. They're your obstacle. Why are you there, emperor? Why are you the obstacle for Gemini? Page of Swords, cutting words, cutting messages. Someone is a little abrupt in speaking. And they're not even holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Can I get another card? Four of Pentacles, this person is not holding back at all. And they may come a little aggressive towards you. And you may feel that they're too aggressive or causing you too much aggravation. Can I get another card for the Emperor? The Page of Swords, both in the upright, four of pentacles in reverse for Gemini. January, mid-January. Yeah, the communications are way off with the situation, person, or whatever. There are no communications that are going uh, smoothly right now. If anything, it may have come to a halt. And that's why maybe a final decision has not been made. Gemini. Now we got the current environment or the subject at hand, the Ten of Wands. Call it oppression or burden. Why are you there for Gemini? Is the subject at hand. There it goes the Emperor again. Hmm, has to do with this Emperor. And that could be an Aries too. But like I said, it could be just someone in authority. Judge, boss, parent, it doesn't matter. Someone who rules the roost. 
and you're carrying a head, heavy burden because of this. Emperor. Can I get another card for the Ten of Wands and the Emperor, both in the upright? King of Swords. Ugh. Yeah, I can see why you're having that burden. It's a heavy energy. I mean, they're both in the upright, and they're making the right decisions. It says that it's hard for you, whatever is occurring, whatever they're bringing to you. This also could be you dealing with the emperor and the burden, because the king of swords is an air energy. Just tells me you're just carrying a heavy load. You don't know what to do with it. You're in the upright. You want a new beginning with the full. Let's see what the out, uh, outside environment is. Queen of Swords, that could be you. I'm going to put that down there because it popped out. That is also an air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I usually associate that with Aquarius a lot of times, but I could be wrong. We're gaining balance, the temperance. Now you're dealing with the uh, Prince of Cups. That's the main energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, also taking on the energy. It also could be a message. Messages are coming out wrong in an emotional sense towards you, the Queen of Swords, or like I said, it could be another air sign coming towards you feeling this way and wanting to bring balance, but their emotions are off. I see them trying to say something to you. You may not accept it. Or you may give tough love a little bit. Try to help balance the situation out. Maybe you're the emperor taking control, huh? We'll shall see. Final outcome. Just having anxiety. That's a nine of swords. You're still worried about the situation. You got a burden. You're dealing with a decision that hasn't been made yet. You're looking for it to be made. But someone's holding back these messages, these decisions with you. And communications aren't coming in. You're feeling a heavy burden with this emperor. You're trying to take on your crown and have new beginnings. It's like the energy is going too slow for you. You do have someone emotional coming towards your way. That's the outside environment doing all this or associated with this. They are in reverse. The messages, could, like I said, could be off and emotional. But the Queen of Swords is there attached to that. And the Queen of Swords is an intelligent person. Someone with experience. Sometimes they're older. But their words are sharp, but they're meaning well. And they're trying to regain balance. At the end, you still get this Nine of Swords of anxiety. You still got anxiety about all this. Why? Nine of Swords. Why are you there? If you want to mention in the comments why you're having so much anxiety at this end, you can put it in the comments and remark on it. I do read all my comments. One more card for the Nine of Swords. Actually, two more. Knight of Rods. Fire sign, possibly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have an anxiety. This person is attached to this anxiety. They could be just acting like the Knight of Rods or Wands in other decks. This is someone who's back and forth. they got a lot of energy themselves. So I'm thinking someone's taking on this energy, and they got a lot of nervous energy, and they're maybe going back and forth and working and trying to keep themselves busy so they don't have to think about things. Can I get another card for the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Rods, Wands, whatever you want to call them? Eight of Pentacles in reverse because this person's not working with you still. Things are still held up. And you're, and you're having anxiety. And you're wanting to move forward. Gemini, you're wanting to move forward. It is disrupting your happy home situation. And you're wanting to move forward. And I still see this going on in mid-January, a little bit on. And I'll be giving you another reading. And I may give a bonus reading if I have time for you. You know, towards, you know, middle or the end of January. But I am giving another reading for February. I just see you having a lot of stress and anxiety. 
Some of you need to go on vacation, possibly. But you can't because you're waiting for some type of answer. Leave it in the comments what it is. But it is, it is disrupting your home. And that, that's because that's the four ones in reverse. It's disrupting your home, your happy, ha your happy situation, your happy situation. So I'm going to let this go. I'll be giving you another reading soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.